So some test inspired warm ups to get us started for today. If you're working at home, press pause, give them a go, and then we'll show the answers in a moment. So there's the quotient rule, GF prime minus FG prime over G squared. And then plug in 2, so at x equals 2, so that would be uh, 4 minus 1 minus 4 times 4. I'm kind of doing a little bit of math on the fly here. 4 minus 1 is 3. And there, I mean, that's a safe stop. You're fine. Be fine right there. My guess is this one is like is probably a multiple choice one on the test. So 3 minus 16 over 9. So negative 13 ninths would be your your sort of multiple choice simplified answer. Okay, this is kind of off topic, but the reviews of yet another way SAT day is messing with you. <laughs> Number two, when is v equals zero if x of t equals four sine t? So the main point of this one is, hey, don't forget that. Velocity is derivative of position. So 4 cosine t. And then when is v equals 0? So 0 equals 4 cosine t. So unit circle experts, when or what angles have a cosine of 0? Yeah, the top and the bottom. So pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and obviously infinitely many more, depending on how you want to get there or if you want to you know, circle around once or twice. But it said between 0 and 2 pi. So, so number 2 was just a couple of easy review things. Velocity is derivative of position, derivative of sine is cosine, and then a little bit of, of pre-cal thrown in there. Again, those are test-inspired, so some of the ideas from the test, the review part of the test covered right there.